In this video, we will manage the entries of Zandra. So admin can add Zandra update Zandra or see the list of Zandras and delete the Zandras. Let's see how we can implement this. To get the changes before this video, you need to check out to the branch feed stock management inside the repositories folder create a new class with the name Zandra repository and inside this class first create this interface with these five methods now here the Zandra repository implement this interface and implement all the methods so inject the application db context here through the constructor now it is our add Zandra method. So we are simply adding it to the context and saving changes it is our update Zandra method. And this one is our delete Zandra. And this one is get ID by async. And it is the nullable Zandra. So it can also return the null value. Here we are getting all the values of Zandras. That's why we have written here to list async and make sure we have added this line here okay once you have created the repository interface and class go to the program.cs file and add this line here to configure the dependency injection for eyes on the repository now we can go to the controller section and you need to create a new controller which is called the Zandra controller. Okay, and this controller can be accessed only by the admin. So authorize role equals to name of roles dot admin, and it is our enum here. Inject the i Zandra repository through the constructor, and here is our index method. So we are simply getting the Zandras and we are also passing Zandras to the view. Now we have this method add Zandra and HTTP post method of add Zandra, which is taking a parameter of type Zandra DTO. So you need to define Zandra DTO also. So I have defined it here models, DTOs, and Zandra DTOs. And it have these two fields ID and Zandra name. We are checking the validation now we are converting genre dtu to the genre type so i have created an object genre equals to new genre genre name and id and here we are calling this add genre method we are setting the success message and in the catch block we are setting the error message and we have the shared page called notifications we are displaying success and error messages here if you are familiar if you have seen my previous video i have done this thing in that video and we are calling this thing here uh here partial name notifications we have this updates on the method first we are fetching the genre if genre is null then we are throwing the exception and we are creating a new object of type Zandra DTO because our view will get the model of type Zandra DTO. So we are converting it here and passing to the view. And here we have this update Zandra post method and we are getting the Zandra DTO object. First we are checking the validation. Now we are creating object of type Zandra because update Zandra will take the object of type Zandra. So we have done the conversion here. I am doing the manual conversion and you can replace it with the auto mapper. Okay and set the success message then return to the index. Otherwise in the cache section set the error message and return to the view. Now we have this delete Zandra method where here var Zandra equals to await Zandra 
dot get genre by id if genre is null then throw this exception otherwise delete genre and return redirect to the index now you need to create a view for index so create one and after that first add this model here heading genre a back button which will not back button a button link button with the text add more and it will call the add genre method of the genre controller now display these things here the, we will display the genre and another column will be action so display the genre here inside this loop and this action column will have two buttons first one is called edit which will call the update genre method of the genre controller and sp route id equals to genre dot dot id so why it is sp route id why it is not sp route genre id because this id should be similar with should be same as the parameter of this method update genre it has the parameter id that's why we are naming it id now delete genre method and sorry now this delete button will call the delete genre method of the genre controller and asp route id will be genre dot id and on click it will call the window dot confirm method and open a pop-up window and ask are you sure and returns true or false on the basis of the selection so that's our index page now we will work on the add genre view so add its view and at the top add this model and here create a div with style 50 percent here we have this add genre heading and we will have this back button which will redirect us to the index method of genre controller here we will have this field genre so it is a type of input text and asp4 genre name so we have linked this text field to the genre name and asp validation message for the genre name which will display the validation message for this and here it is a simple submit button with add and the update method would be similar so just go here okay now this is our update method which is similar to the add method but one thing will be changed here we will have the hidden field here for the id that's it and this should be update and action method of form will also be changed to the update zanda now we can run this project okay so i am already logged in with admin so i am able to see this zanda section we have all of these zanda so let's add this zanda j e n 1 j e v g v 1 okay zanda is added successfully you can see this thing and let's name it to zanda 1 that's it zanda 1 and let's try to delete this guy and it is deleted let's delete this too we have completed our zanda section in the next video we will work on the book section where admin can manage the book entries like add book update and delete the book etc etc so that's it for now see you next time